G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a great middle school geometry problem, which goes as follows. Uh, each of the following four large congruent squares, these ones here, uh, is subdivided into combinations of congruent triangles or rectangles and is partially shaded. Okay, so it's subdivided into rectangles and, and looks like squares as well, but I guess squares are rectangles and some triangles and yep, stuff is indeed partially shaded. So what's the question? Uh, what percent of the total area is partially shaded? Hang on, hang on, I just felt like I just said the same things multiple times. Each of the four large congruent squares is subdivided into different shapes and is partially shaded. What percent of the total area is partially, partially shaded? All right, this is a little bit confusing. I actually do see four pictures here. So it looks like, uh, well, a quarter of this picture, that's what, 25% of this picture is shaded, and clearly 25% of this picture is shaded, and a bit more than 25% of this one's shaded, and less than 25% of that one's shaded. I guess I'm not going to say 25% plus 25% plus a bit more than 25% and less than 25% because that's obviously be like something like 90% you know, of the thing is shaded. That's not right. I think the total area means think of this as one single picture and say how much of this is shaded. Okay, okay. I think, that, I think that's what the question is. All right, well, I could actually work out all these fractions of areas that are shaded and somehow add them up in the right way. When I add up percentages before, that didn't feel right, but maybe I can add up fractions, but that actually feels too hard. So what I'm going to do here is employ strategy number nine, which is to avoid hard work. In fact, the reason I say that, because I feel very much compelled to take this little shaded triangle up here and just plonk it next to this guy. In fact, can I erase it all? Yeah, I'll make smudges on the board, and imagine I put that there. There's still the same amount of area, but now that's clearly half the square that's been shaded. In fact, I can't help but actually do the same thing, think to do the same thing over here, take that one and plonk it over here instead. Uh, that looks mean. So he's got blank, blank, three quarters of this is shaded, and a bit of that is shaded. However, I think I need to stop here because I bet you can see what to do now. Yes, it's a long, skinny rectangle. That's a square. But, hmm, there's something about those areas. And I think then it'll be obvious what the answer to the question is. How much of this total area of this picture is shaded? I bet you can do it. So, Finish this up, we're basically there. I think this question turned out to be beautiful in the end, much better than adding fractions. And then when you're done, look at the essay that goes with this video. Uh, obviously this question has an answer that's, that's pretty swift, I think, but I've got some good extension problems to this. This is actually a good gateway to more thinking. Love this stuff. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.